enjoy one minute of having her. I wish I'd never had her. She's a monster. Hello, I'm John Snow, and this is the Anna Freud Center, where severe mental health problems in children and young people are treated. It is the birthplace of child psychotherapy, founded during the Second World War. The blitz and evacuation brought about traumas and mental disorders in many children who experienced dreadful events during the war, and child refugees who survived the Holocaust had nowhere else to turn. Today, this beacon of research and teaching is helping children and young people worldwide who are suffering mental ill health. Anna Freud, a refugee herself, has become a household name, and the Anna Freud Center is internationally respected. I felt trapped because I didn't want them anymore. I just kept saying, why, why, why? For many reasons, Today's children suffer a huge variety of emotional and behavioural problems. One in five children has a serious mental health problem. Mikey is nearly three. His mother is an alcoholic with many violent partners. She's only 18 herself. She frequently overdoses on drugs, afforded through prostitution. Mariana is a terrified girl, deeply withdrawn, a refugee having witnessed starvation, the rape of her mother, and then the brutal murder of both parents. Her underdeveloped brain simply cannot cope. With her terrors internalized, she suffers alone. Sophie's mental development is delayed and different to other children. She's clumsy and in a world of her own. She's painfully shy, unable to make friends. She upsets and disrupts and cannot learn. The world overwhelms her. The Anna Freud Center is dedicated to providing specialist help for babies, children and adolescents by way of innovative treatments and collaborations. Its half million pound postgraduate training and research programs combine with leading academic bodies such as Yale University in the United States and University College London. There is a severe shortage of professionals such as those practicing at the Anna Freud Center. The center trains a wide range of health professionals, including health visitors, children's guardians, mental health workers, and social workers. This academic excellence means better advice is offered to parents, academics, health authorities, and governments around the world. It is an independent place for policymakers to turn to for the most up-to-date information. Infants need to bond with their parents. Their brains simply won't develop normally without this relationship. It is a particularly sensitive time when neural pathways are developing. But without this bonding, coupled with trauma, abuse, neglect, or social deprivation, the result is a child with damaged social, emotional, and behavioral skills. It is important to intervene as early as possible. Whilst the services of the centre are a valued resource for local families, many other vulnerable children from more extreme backgrounds, such as war zones, also turn to the Anna Freud Centre to help bond parent and infant and so improve the chances of normal brain development. But external observation is not always enough. A new brain imaging laboratory needs to be built. Peter Fonagy explains. The EG equipment will tell expert clinicians how a child's brain functions. The Anna Freud Centre will be the first in the UK to use the, this equipment in a, for a clinical purpose and we will be able to identify children's problems before they cause permanent disability. The NHS has to refer many cases to the centre that are beyond their capacity, so there are programmes to supply services to hospitals and NHS trusts. She beat me up badly. I went blue and collapsed, and I went up in hospital. And that was the last time I saw my mum. Drug addict, alcohol abuser, psychotic, teen suicide. That's how I describe her mum. Self-harm and suicide can never be a way out. The Adolescent Crisis Intervention Program here is delivering a radically new approach to help young people suffering serious mental health difficulties. But it needs to reach out further, simply to meet demand. 
I have to admit my family life is not quite how I'd expected it to be. The Anna Freud Centre supports families. Their therapists work with the most vulnerable groups, often not helped by anyone else. This can be one-to-one -one or in family groups, short-term or long-term. And this is often when other treatments have already failed. It is very sensitive work. It's times like this that I wish I was just dead. Especially where violent behaviour is concerned. Especially when there is the threat of harm to a baby or child. But it is successful. It helps to put vulnerable parents and infants on track for a brighter future. The Anna Freud Centre reaches out to parents and babies in prisons, hostels and refuges. Many need help that cannot be provided by other services. The NHS has to refer a number of children to us, many children each year, um, who are beyond their capacity to treat. There are sometimes waiting list issues. With the Anna Freud, access is much more immediate and for a family in crisis, that is a major benefit. The challenges remain. In a British school of a thousand pupils, it's estimated there will be around a hundred anxiety states and phobias, a hundred and forty conduct disorders, ten eating disorders, fifty cases of clinical depression, a hundred and fifty cases of self-harm, and up to ten suicide attempts. There has been a significant increase in British children being prescribed antipsychotic drugs, which may have a significant impact on the development of their brain. Antidepressants are being prescribed more than ever and some of these may not only be ineffective but are possibly harmful. The majority of young people with significant mental health needs simply do not get the services they require. The need for funding is all too apparent. The work of the Anna Freud Centre is helping to make a real difference, leading to a better society with happier, better adjusted children who are less of a concern to police, health and welfare authorities. If we don't intervene in childhood, and when we can in earliest childhood, it is possible, even likely, that the individual will suffer a lifetime of mental health and other problems, and that these problems may pass down the generations to his children and his children's children. Go away! Stop, no, that's not nice. You Go need to stop. Away. We're trying to help more children and families, more places, with more problems, more effectively than ever before. We need to intervene as early as possible for maximum impact. The challenge for us remains as great as ever. I become a really good mother after I come here because I wasn't having any experience. My experience of being a mum starts here. When I first started the therapy, I really didn't want to talk about my childhood. It has been brilliant, really, really beneficial. I was in an abusive relationship with my partner. Social services got involved and the children went into care of my sister, who was their sole carer. I remained in a woman's refuge. Yeah, if it wasn't for the advice of Anna Freud and recommendations from them, then I probably wouldn't have the children back with me. Without adequate funds, the Anna Freud Centre will have to cut back their programmes. But with more funds, the centre will reach out further, nationally and internationally, to people and places desperately in need, saving children, saving lives. Think child. Think Anna Freud Center.